Hi, yeah, you know, if you don't have to live in the IE to know that there are tons of big rigs out here, tons of warehouses overall. Now, specifically here in the city of Fontana, there are more than 50, and that's what residents have really been fighting against. Today, I'm proud to announce that we've secured an innovative settlement with the city to resolve this matter and protect more vulnerable communities from pollution associated with industrial development, where they live, where they work, and where they go to school. Now, Attorney General Rob Bonta was in Los Angeles this morning to make that big announcement. Nearly one year ago last July, Bonta announced a lawsuit against the city of Fontana to challenge the approval of a warehouse that sits adjacent to Harupa Hills High School. There are also several homes nearby. Now, that lawsuit claiming that yet another warehouse would be another source of industrial pollution in a residential community. It also claimed that the city violated the California Environmental Quality Act, also known as CEQA, when it approved the project known as the Slover and Oleander Warehouse Project. Now, those are also the street names of where this warehouse will be. Today, Bonta's announcement ensured that the warehouse will be built, but that there are conditions for developer Duke Realty, which is responsible for the new warehouse. According to Bonta, some of the things the company will have to do is make design changes, ensure reduced emissions from equipment, utilize solar power, all to minimize the impact on surrounding communities. Now, Duke Realty will also have to create a community benefit fund to enhance landscaping buffers and also fund the purchase of air filters for more than 1,700 households in Fontana for the next five years. Now, the city also adopting its own measures from now on for current and future warehouses. Bonta says a new ordinance will reroute truck routes and keep trucks away from homes and schools that are just sitting spewing emissions. Now, as you can imagine, this has been an ongoing problem that residents have fought against for years with the influx of new warehouses. Bonta says those projects have been going unchecked for too long. When uh, projects are sited in neighborhoods next to schools, homes, churches, and underserved communities, that really raises the stakes. Diesel pollution, greenhouse gas emissions, and safety for school children and the residents were our primary concern. Now, we reached out to the city of Fontana. We are still waiting to hear back from them in a statement that they said that they are going to release to us shortly. Uh, meantime, coming up a little bit later on at 5, we also got a statement from Duke Realty, the developer behind all of this. You will hear more uh, from their end as well. But for now, here live in Fontana, I'm Shelby Nelson, KTLA 5 News.